afternoon. My name is Varjan Der Simonian, curator of Armia Museum of Fresno. This afternoon, I have the honor to introduce and interview prolific artist Ruby Kocharyan. Mr. Kocharyan, welcome to Armia Museum. My pleasure and thank you. And here we are, we're looking to your, some of your work that you have done. This is a inter very interesting exhibition that we're having today. And please tell us about this painting. Why do you have this? Um, like I said, uh, it, um, it's a conceptual art, conceptual painting. Uh, it's certain concept that I had in mind and I was uh, in, um, putting uh, objects next to each other with some concept. It's like a kind of puzzle for a viewer. Each viewer can, ha has, uh, can have his own concept for what they see. I see that I see used tires the teddy bear and a can and a hat the main idea that i had it was teddy bear uh, with this uh, courage uh, yes. baby courage and uh, then uh, to uh, give a background to it to emphasize the subject matter i was uh, going by choosing lines colors like uh, this part um, the wiring and the wire, wire fence for a fence for a, 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 a construction. So uh, there are uh, several lines in this concept that uh, can be talked about. Like we uh, grow as a children, we grow uh, with this cur uh, courage, correct? Yeah. Uh, and uh, our toy teddy bear. Uh, uh, we never separate with teddy bear. And then when everything is used, uh, I grew up, let's say, then teddy bear and uh, all the courage and everything goes together into one spot. Mr. Kocharyan, I'm looking at this mannequin. First I looked at this is damaged over here. What is this, sir? It is a damage. Uh, this mannequin I got from Robinson May in LA. Uh -huh. They were throwing away mannequins. Uh -huh. So when I saw it, I just went and asked manager to give me this. It's a foam mannequin, uh -huh. good for nothing except painting. <laughs> so uh, I brought it in and uh, it was major subject matter. So uh, I arranged it with advertising paper that uh, you see those lips over there yeah. and the girl smiling, inviting you somewhere. LA s explains it. So I put all these things together and uh, I love the painting because uh, um, of the colors and uh, textures that I reached here. Uh, I love this cardboard textures. And like you said, uh, I uh, uh, gave three-dimensional image that shows damage on it and uh, reflections, shadows. Uh, when then, I saw that, I thought the painting was damaged. Yeah, so I remember so it. I remember it. It's a, a <laughs> kind of Trump loyal uh, effect <laughs> sure. that Thank fooling you. the eye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This painting here really captured my attention. A friend of okay. mine saw it and said, wait a second, what is this? Several paintings in one. Could you tell me why? Wrapped around here, a beautiful painting, Diana, which is a very famous thing. Tell mm -hmm. me about it. Well, uh, Paul Clay, da Diana, uh, it attracts me with that arrow that Diana walks today on the street, strikes people with her arrow. It's interesting that you mentioned several paintings. Uh, my self-portrait is under this. Oh, really? All right. <laughs> and I painted this over my self-portrait. <laughs> so with the time when paint will uh, decay, uh, uh, fade, the uh, colors yeah. will fade, then my portrait will come out. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is really value. 100 years from now, you're going to come up. <laughs> <laughs> right. You can see two portraits there, yeah. Diana yeah, and me. Yeah. Here it is. You can uh, see a lot of the combinations again. Yeah. Again, uh, the concept is flying. Uh, um, Racing car. Uh, no, it's a flying um, uh, kite. kite. Uh -huh. It's a flying kite with these uh, oh. arrows on it, striking that uh, Paul Clay uh, with association with Paul Clay. I had painting pa palette and light that he gives light for art and flying uh, kite with these arrows like I said 
And at the same time, there are textures and Coke can with Americana that goes with it because uh, American uh, art wasn't in Europe for a long time until America took over and uh, <laughs> now the whole Europe uh, follows our, our art. So anyway, the color red, I, want, uh, I always like the plastic. And a lot of plastic participates. Everything is plastic, actually, and cardboard. Everything here is from plastic. Some on the other one also. Yeah. yeah. So the uh, main idea was uh, Paul Clay, and uh, the rest, it was going around. It like cooked, were cooked in my mind. Uh -huh. But viewer may have different concept by looking at yeah. this. You know, this painting of Raphael, Saint Barbara, it detailed from 16, uh, uh, Mad uh, 16 Madonna. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bought this from a um, thrift store, uh, shop. It doesn't work. You, so you can see it's broken. Right. And the same thing with the globe. So uh, they were not working. So I put them in the garbage can, recycled. Right. And then uh, I got the uh, Holy Spirit of the Saint Barbara uh, was tied up. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, you know, it doesn't work. Uh, she, it doesn't work anymore. That was m my concept. I, of course, you can see it differently. Uh -huh. And then uh, I put this uh, like a globe reflects itself in a mirror, and uh, the, the things have to be all recycled. The things that we uh, like, we use we save or carry with us so uh saint, here i see yeah, yeah. Uh, saint barbara watching us and these colors yes. were very popular among uh, young people of today uh -huh. okay this is fantastic conflict between one image then the other in one painting right. could you please explain this yeah um uh, the image I got here, it's kind of classical image of a girl, like uh, Italian style, Roman, Roman girl, uh, Roman, uh, Roman type. And it was uh, advertising of a, a billboard of a girl, uh, you can see the billboard lines, yes, yes. Uh, uh, running in the water. Uh -huh. So I turned it upside down, so she goes down and the water comes over her, uh, gives kind of associations. And freeway is that way, she goes this way, and the garbage falls all the way down. And the holy thing, and uh, everyday use things, uh, uh, again, plastic, garbage can. And I love this yellow. I, w w I love to play with yellow color, uh, uh -huh. yellow uh, color of life. So uh, it was good contrast with her blue dress. and. Police stop. She goes overboard. It's, it's uh, great. It's great yeah. Work. So it, that this was is really the whole. Indeed, yeah. yeah, that um, was. Uh, it, uh, that's what I was uh, expressing here. Awesome. Thank you. Here we are, October, in the month of August. What is this? Uh, it's a Halloween uh, uh, subject matter that everybody using. Uh, skulls from plastic. This is this is Democrats have this oh. uh, uh, donkey. Uh, uh, yeah, it's okay. uh, uh, I picked it up from the street, and then you can see the construction here. I have like bones, but these are bamboos. Uh -huh. And uh, of course, uh, image uh, reminds Elvira. Right. And uh, kind of. Uh, you stand there and you feel it's you that looking there. So it's kind of spirit uh, uh, of uh, Halloween that reflects and looking at you. And uh, you can see all this web of uh, spider. And uh, in, yes. in Russian, they say Baba Yaga, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the witch uh, uh, that uh, trying to wake up. And uh, corn, uh, usually in Halloween time, they are putting together corn, uh, pomegranates, uh, uh, dry apples, leaves. So I picked up uh, corn. Look at this one. You have a healthy food, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, as we know. And next right. to you have a hamburger and a Coke. 
Right. Eat. Well, uh, uh, hamburger uh, after Greece, I missed hamburger so much. When I came back, I ate five of them at once. <laughs> and then I never touched it again. Oh, this uh, is a memory but, of that. <laughs> but it, uh, every, every young person sure. likes it. They, sure. they eat uh, and drink Coke, and uh, it's a love symbol of Apple. So she grows very beautiful, and uh, hamburger gives her all energy she needs. <laughs> <laughs> and then they play rock and roll over there. Uh, and uh, air collided nails there. She will <laughs> nail you. <laughs> uh, this one is a ro uh, uh, again uh, with uh, youth uh, connection with youth. Uh, Anna got this uh, drum. Uh, your wife. Uh, my wife. Yes. Uh, she brought it in, and I saw. I said, "My goodness, that will make a painting." So it did. So a uh, rock drum with these CCs, <laughs> uh, 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 traveling sleeping bag, and uh, uh, all kind uh, boxes. boxes uh, and uh, what uh, catches me the patterns that they make abstract in, uh, painting. If you see it like this, right. it's, it's a, by itself, it's an abstract painting. But it's done very realistically and uh, hyper-realism, they call this style. So that's what it is. And rock strikes, you know. Uh, I imitated the uh, uh, image they had on the rock. You have a white elephant. Mm -hmm. Big good old McDonald's. What else? Now, uh, again, with this subject matter, I'll tell you, uh, elephant uh, my wife found. And she brought it uh, home, and I saw uh, it's for co collecting money in it. Ah. Yeah. Then from garage sale, I had this mannequin. Uh, we had wig for it. And the car that read uh, ch uh, childish car. So this gave me a uh, 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 main uh, subject matter to start working with. And white elephant in English uh, usually means bad thing. But uh, for a long time, I was calling it white elephant. <laughs> until in Horowitz Gallery uh, in LA, uh, he said elephant, elephant swept. Oh. So he put that title, <laughs> and uh, uh, in this case, uh, that's what it was. Finding Venus, the name of this painting. Venus uh, uh, of Milos, yes. the name of this uh, statue, found a peasant. And since then, it was sold, uh, changed hands, and uh, it became the most known uh, sculpture of the world. Even they were advertising female bros. Really? <laughs> yeah, putting on her. So I painted a classical uh, statue with uh, she had son um, Cupid. So uh, instead of that shepherd that found it, I put Cupid found her mother, oh. his mother. <laughs> Would you say Venice became California girl here? California girl, uh, she had gone originally in this painting, she had gone. Uh -huh. Then I took it out and uh, put flags that uh, all these flags uh, by, uh, go with their colors. Uh -huh. I don't know what these flags uh, mean yeah. because uh, I just took the signs of them. But uh, I liked again this yellow, California, and her character somehow attracted me. Sure. Yeah, and uh, here we have uh, we have subject matter that uh, I borrowed from my friend and uh, uh, the bird uh, house I have here and this um, uh, lampshades. Uh, Texture-wise, they were very good going together, like all this uh, high, uh, I see that, yes. um, I see rich, uh, like uh, they say in New York, uh, upstate, uh, uptown, uptown subject matter, and all of a sudden you see a girl and that plastic, white plastic. It's a downtown subject matter. <laughs> 
So uh, bell fence, bell fence uh, in the painting, uh, uh, like um, uh, what well, well, painted delphin, you know, it's not a real delphin. Uh, painted horse, you cannot ride. So in the painting, delphin has just aesthetical uh, value. Just you looking at it, lines, and uh, you feel movement, you feel water, you feel delphin, and then girl next to it uh, kind of movement. enriches enriches sure. the associative it brings feelings. Life to the painting, All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. That's beautiful. The color combination, everything. Great. Here you have self-portrait Ruby Kocharyan. Right. Well, um, I'm wearing that uh, shopping bag. Grocery bag. Huh? Grocery bag. <laughs> because uh, w um, I was looking at myself and started the painting, and I didn't like the way I looked. I was angry, and uh, uh, un uh, my wife brought grocery in. So I took that <laughs> bag, <laughs> put it over myself, and I said, much better. <laughs> and then. <laughs> We are what we eat. Yes. We, uh, what we eat comes from grocery bag. <laughs> so that's what you're <laughs> yeah. And then I wrapped myself in red plastic I had at <laughs> home. So it gave nice color combination. From here, you come all up. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa is, uh, everybody knows, the most famous in the world. I don't think anybody else did this. Because you see, the most classical part of her hands uh, w with the uh, plastic can reflecting in her fingers. This combination is very important combination. Mixture of classical uh, beauty, broken glass, and reflected uh, plastic can in it, in her hands. So, Combination of Coca-Cola can and uh, the most famous painting uh, in pop art, they go under the same bill. <laughs> they both are famous. So they are mo uh, most powerful images in American art. I have it here. I see the strong contrast. There's obviously, there's an image or something that you're communicating. Right. Uh, she stops you. It's a top. It yes. stops you, and I put police line there too. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no room to go further. You are, uh, you cannot go beyond that. And then uh, I have uh, everyday objects here, like always I do. And that brings you to the surprise that Ruby Kocharyan has here. Is it a surprise because of what you see now in the culture? Uh, usually they do uh, self-portraits, uh, selfies, uh, yes. pretty, nice, smiling. Uh, I was uh, looking at myself and I said, my goodness, what happened to me? <laughs> and uh, I wasn't happy with my face. so. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what's going on with me in the mirror? And uh, I was talking to Anna at the time. I was showing, uh, uh, grimacing. And then I did the portrait. And I didn't use photograph uh, camera because uh, you can see some in, uh, irregularities, uh, some uh, uh, not correct, uh, perf uh, like camera shows it in one second, a frozen second. Uh -huh. And if you imitate it, you're getting uh, frozen. But it would be scary, uh, sur surreal. But this is uh, like this part is shorter than this one, and so on. Because I was working, just grimacing to myself. Right. But this is like selfie that they talk today on the se Facebook. This is your <laughs> selfie, right? All right, <laughs> it's my selfie, but done by hand. No, course, no photograph. Uh, obviously, yeah. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. All right. Uh, here we can see two characters, quite strong male character uh, in a lion, and female that I did again uh, from imagination, her face, because if I'll use any photograph, it would be someone but, uh, that we know. But uh, it's advertising girl uh, on a beach, you can see, uh, yes, and again, yes. ho it's Hollywood. And then uh, that masculine man as a lion, he likes uh, 
of, of playing ball and uh, the, this mattresses, everything is again with pl wrapped in plastic, all these uh, forbidden things uh, sure. uh, Stop marks. Uh, uh, yeah. overlapped with something. And then uh, I uh, don't remember, it was vacuum cleaner or something of a big of a size. And I put uh, those things uh, to arrange the composition. And uh, I liked uh, uh, what uh, came out. And uh, this is my sh uh, skirt here. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, this thing I picked up from the street. Construction, uh, uh, wire. Uh, yeah. wire, all right. So all these things, uh, kind of uh, lines and forms, shapes, uh, this shape with this one with the hall and this uh, contrasting each other and complementing each other. So uh, that's what it was. Great. This is a completely different set of paintings compared to the other ones. Right. The other mm. ones you had on uh, oil and linen, where here they're quite different. Right. This group of paintings I did in New York. Uh, and uh, I moved to New York from Armenia, I came to Washington. I lived there one year and then moved to New York. Uh, I didn't have subject matter. I didn't know uh, art materials they using. So I couldn't get effect desired. Uh -huh. So uh, that's why they are all on wood. I bought wood, I primed it myself. And uh, I used materials that were close to what I had in Russia. Uh -huh. So here you can see uh, a New York uh, parking tax, that documental. Uh, 8%. New York yeah, parking. It, it was 8% at the time. Uh, this coat is my wife's, first wife's coat. And then uh, su subject matter, I didn't have anything to paint. Uh -huh. So I was painting anything that was uh, available uh, on the street. And it, it was uh, uh, something for uh, garbage or uh, for laundry. I don't know exactly what it was for. Then uh, here you can see Village Voice newspaper. Right. Uh, I had uh, a box of uh, vegetables, emerald it calls. I uh, put it there, more garbage, and then uh, uh, Village Voice with uh, apple cider. Over here, uh, I was trying to imitate newspaper, and I did uh, very uh, difficult for eyes. It detail uh, work, The other day, uh, right. visitors was surprised how real it looks. And these car parts, I have a lot of paintings with car parts. I did watercolors, eight feet big uh, car parts. Huh. Yeah. And uh, here again, car parts with hammer and broken door. Anything that I was able to bring from the street, I would have bring and painted. Because I didn't have any money uh, to uh, buy anything uh, human. <laughs> so those are items that you found, basically? Uh, uh, from the streets of I New see, York. These are street uh, objects uh, uh, fr uh, from a uh, in the front of rest yeah. yeah in front of restaurant I found this then Nikki box then uh, so these would are you say this is kind of representing New York in 1970s my life in New York yeah my life because it's not uh, it is New York but uh, this is my life the way I live with the street subject and uh, there were artists who, who would say, what is trying to say about America? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Magritte, Magritte says, a painted pipe is not a pipe. So painted garbage is not a garbage. <laughs> Here we are again. You're again in New York with this painting. Yes. Uh, Lipton box. This is uh, my head filled up with all different things that I was analyzing. The time stopped, no time, right? because uh, I didn't understand what's going on. And uh, my last name was at the time Rabu II, Rabu II, I was writing. 
that was nickname given me by some spiritual teacher. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, the subject matter here, you can see uh, Coke can with president, uh, all, all these things that filling up my mind, crossword and aesthetics by uh, Aristotle and uh, my pens, you know, uh, it's a, a self-portrait in it. Life and was different in New York for you when you uh, came. It, I had terrible, terrible time in New York, uh, but uh, until until a collector picked me up and supported me. Otherwise, I had very difficult time, and that's what I was painting. You can feel the uh, dust of New York on this painting. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Here we are. Does this reflect? Your life in New York. All right. Uh, these shoes I had for four years. I was walking uh, on Madison Avenue up and down looking for galleries in these shoes. And uh, winter or summer, I was in these shoes. And they uh, became my uh, you, uh, a spiritual part of me. We don't realize that our shoes giving comfort to our feet and our body. So somehow our spiritual uh, uh, feelings coming from our mind. Uh, and if your shoes are not fitting you right, you don't have mind and you cannot feel your spirit. So after uh, I got new shoes, eventually, I painted these ones and I did pastel drawings that uh, are um, um, Arshil Gorky Gallery in yeah. Paris. The owner bought all those drawings from me. Uh -huh. Garik Basmajan. Oh. Yeah. So uh, background is quiet. It's dying. You see, mm -hmm. uh, these the shoes will be thrown away. They will be dead. But memory stood with me in this painting, through this painting. This uh, no uh, New York. Again, New York, and then, or we have to go. Uh, Either way, whatever's comfortable for you. Okay, uh, this is another shoe. Uh, uh, the title is another shoe, that uh, plastic shoe. So uh, how plastic affects me? Uh, you know, you drink, you eat uh, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken or a burger. There, I don't know, uh, chicken wing, wing, uh, some uh, snacks there. And then I have this classical detail of Poussin, flying uh, angels of Poussin, Nicola Poussin. So this combination made this painting. <laughs> and underwear, you see, running uh, with Pants. shoe. Yeah. Shoes. yeah. Uh, in this painting, I have uh, Indian, uh, as you can see, uh, and uh, it was tent. The uh, image was on the tent, so I did it on the paper. I changed from tent to paper, and then I did uh, a billboard advertising. And then I put my uh, um, yeah, subject matter of oil. I have painted this can several times. Uh, uh, I found it on the street again, uh, all these things from the street, and combination. I can go with my own feelings, what I felt, uh, why I did this, but it won't be precise because a viewer has to have, find his own thinking in it. It's kind of uh, inner puzzle that I uh, put it out. So you have to decide why it's there and why it's not. <laughs> uh, same thing with this typewriter, uh, Varujan. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, typewriter, uh, you can see the last thing it was typing, love. Uh -huh. So the person uh, looks like it was female uh, because uh, the colors I was putting, uh, pastel colors. Right. And uh, it's Valentine love. So she got that as a present. And then it's going to die, like those shoes I was talking about. Yes. <laughs> typewriter, it's going to we die. Don't use it anymore. Yeah. Nobody uses it anymore. So, but you can see the textures here. I, I uh, the way, one, the yeah. way it's done. Uh, uh, I was making my own uh, uh, fl flake white, 
and uh, that flake white gave me a chance to paint each letter each thing like uh, it's not done by hand but by machine but it's my hand <laughs> <laughs> and again I imitated all this old inks on sure. the so it's nice presentation of texture of the typewriter I recorded it uh, um, I love this painting. It's beautiful. No question yeah. about it. it um, we had a party, and a woman uh, uh, was going to buy it. Anna didn't sell. <laughs> yeah, uh, for a few thousand dollars. <laughs> she said, no, no. <laughs> coat cans. Nobody will think that a bunch of coat cans, empty cans, will make a painting. And uh, this is again American subject matter that I loved, uh, loved at the time when I was painting it. And uh, uh, you can see uh, two figures here, girl and boy, they're healthy, they're good, they're in love, or at least they are together. Then uh, king crown, onions. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> King Crown went with this. Uh, you can see the co co cola again and plastic and all this conceptual uh, combination that uh, I, it took me a lot to put these lines to write coke. Uh, it's not photograph. It's uh, yeah, it's from life. So. This brings you back to New York. This brings me, yeah. And you can see me uh, uh, when I was starving in New York, eating a piece of uh, pizza uh, for a day. And uh, there was no uh, daylight. You can see that r uh, sunlight comes on the wall over there. It was, it was an hour and a half during the day. You could see sun on sunny days. It's between 30 and 31st streets on Madison Avenue. My studio was in front of Astrology Center. They were uh, in, uh, in opposite side of the street. So uh, you can see my face, my thinking, and the hat I had because electric light, those fluorescent light were bothering. So I had to have something on my head to uh, see. And you can see the shadow uh, that covers my eyes. Only part of face is open. And uh, this medium I used for this red, uh, uh, it used to say, uh, cost 35 cents at the time. Now it costs 125 dollars. Amber varnish. Wow. Yeah. I wish I uh, bought uh, uh, a lot of... <laughs> 45 years ago. Uh, 45 <laughs> years ago, yeah. But uh, from 35 cents it went to 125. Now it probably 150. Uh, the company uh, sells, uh, I cannot recall now, uh, uh, a heater. Right. My landlord would, wouldn't give me heat, so uh, I refused to pay uh, rent because I didn't have money. <laughs> so he took me to court. <laughs> Over there, <laughs> his lawyer told him to settle it up because uh, I had my son with me there uh -huh. and my wife and no heat in New York. It was cold, freezing cold, <laughs> yeah. And downstairs uh, uh, below was restaurant, and the smell of food was coming up, and I was so hungry. <laughs> Those are memories of this painting. Here I have in a way, uh, yeah. Uh, Potato chips, and then uh, you have. Uh, I want to talk about this uh, uh, red shoe robot. This is uh, uh, from dollar store. Uh, you buy this kind of toys for children. Nobody thinks that uh, nobody uh, thinks that robot, that cheap robot from dollar store can make a painting. So I uh, combined it with uh, cat food uh, <laughs> can and uh, opening uh, cover. Uh, 
uh, uh, Campbell soup that was so famous in pop art by, uh, through uh, uh, Warhol, Andy Warhol. And uh, internet, uh, internet, Grand Prix, uh, internet, uh, I changed the letter or it was changed, I Why don't do you remember. Have a broom over there? The broom, uh, broom uh, was going by uh, good with color and as a shape there, but uh, you can think of a broom to sweep it all <laughs> off the whole thing. In, in all this set, when I look at it, you have viewed a life around you, whatever you were, and presented in the art. In like a that right brings us to reality what we're looking around us, that what we're living by, that will eventually go away. Right. Uh, it's uh, uh, reflecting certain time and certain uh, objects that we use every day uh, li in everyday life. And it's kind of recording of those things, that with the time they're becoming classic. Mm -hmm. You see? Like Mona Lisa is a classic. Yes. Uh, uh, That's in mind when I'm face, talking. Right. Yeah. Uh, with this painting, uh, potato chips bag makes a painting, which is uh, quite interesting. Uh, imitating commercial product and making it as a painting, fine art painting, quite difficult uh, thing uh, because uh, you expect to see commercial uh, thinking. But I did commercial uh, thing without uh, uh, without commercial uh, meaning of it. So uh, happiness of this girl, uh, she uh, looks like Oriental or Mexican. I don't know. She's very happy. She's having this. <laughs> yeah, it's tasty. <laughs> it's tasty. Yeah, and uh, the, the can uh, of juice you drink with it. You see, uh, I combined uh, the most uh, plain everyday subject matter. Uh, uh, you can uh, find on the street uh, some cardboard like this, never thinking that it will make such a shape, beautiful shape. And arrow there uh, brings to inner uh, sense, inner uh, sense and feeling of the object in a different way. That's my concept of it. Uh, this painting is by Rubens, and I love Rubens. And this putis I did in watercolor. It was sold to very, very rich men in New York, the biggest real estate in New York. So I, met, uh, I did the second one with uh, oils, and I did like this, uh, arranged with uh, old Bible, old book, paired up. And it's wrapped up in plastic again. So a combination of plastic and uh, classical books, let's say. Classical yeah, books yeah. and, and uh, Ruben, uh, Ruben's fat putties <laughs> uh, was interesting. So uh, I think uh, it gave me a nice still life, the combination. Thanks. Mr. Kocharyan, truly appreciate you being with us. Thank you so much. For Thank and you thank very, very much. To explain your painting. Uh, this is really uh, when I first saw the paintings mm -hmm. at your studio to think about exhibiting. Mm -hmm. Immediately, we said, realized life around us, as we talked earlier, and now how it reflects. This is very emotional. Uh, uh, about this painting, I can s uh, say uh, uh, something that. Uh, uh, you don't notice from the beginning. Concept of two. Like you see two lines of yes. rope, you see two lines of box, you see uh, two sides of frame. Uh, I try to keep that double idea in, in it. Like uh, two is a female number, that's I why. See. Okay. You see? Yeah. So anyway. Uh, well, thank you, sir. Thank you. It was Thank so you. pleasure to see you. Hopefully we'll see it again. Oh, I hope so. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you.